Bowen, thanks for joining us tonight. A mom is looking for answers after someone shot and killed her 15 year old son, Jordan Wilson. Friends are remembering him as someone who was intelligent and kind to everyone he met. Now his mother wants justice. Camila Williams joins us in studio to tell us how a summer trip ended in tragedy. It happened more than 500 miles from home in Osceola, Arkansas, but Wilson was a student in Macon at Rutland High School. He was getting ready for his sophomore year, but now his mother, Yatrice Jones, says she won't get to see her son reach his teenage milestones. Jordan was very smart. He was he was loving. He's he's just an all around good kid. Yatrice Jones describes her son Jordan as the golden child. His heart was too big for this world. But the 15 year old Rutland High School student was taken from this world too soon. It started with a call from her brother. He took a deep breath and he said, Jordan just got shot. Jordan was visiting his paternal grandmother in Osceola, Arkansas, when someone shot and killed him at a relative's house. She said she originally was hesitant for him to visit, but let him go. The only call she received after Jordan's death last Thursday came from her brother. No one called my side of the family, and my mom lives directly probably five minutes away from the scene. Derek Davis was friends with Wilson. His mom, Amber Smith, said he touched everyone he met. Can't nobody say he was a bad child. Can't nobody say he was disrespectful. He had he had a great mannerism, always loving, always wanted to give everybody a hug. He was just pure light. Davis says they had big plans. We were starting the clothing brand with him and it was like three other folks. We were starting to clothe the brand. Smith hopes people will remember who Wilson was and not how he was taken. I know they both would have been starting their sophomore year. So to their classmates, you know, do as Jordan would. Jones says now she wants answers. I just want his story out there and I just want justice for Jordan. Jones told me Wilson headed to Arkansas once school let out. She said when he got when she got to the police department in Osceola, she wasn't able to see her son. Back to you, Lori. Thanks, Camila. Osceola, Arkansas police tell us Wilson's shooting death is still under investigation.